this is Ken Nelson with the Tactical Performance Center. In today's whiteboard chat, I'm going to talk about a concept called isolation of tension. Now, there's a lot of training, a lot of schools of thought, largely driven by military and LEO, where you just use maximum force and control the gun. Um, and that's actually not that bad a technique if you have a population that can do it. Right, that has a lot of military funding, a lot of LEO funding. You're not getting people to go to the gym every day. You're not getting big 280 pound burly dudes as who you're training. You're getting the entire gamut of the population. So our doctrine, uh, reactive shooting, which is basically how to get the first hit, because the first hurt went, the first hit wins, um, is designed to work with really any body type, any body strength. It's designed to use things that are always available, gravity, bones, and so forth. And I wanna to talk to you about basically the power of doing nothing. Okay, the power of doing nothing. And it's a concept called isolation of tension. Now, one of the things we see in high performance athletic activity, downhill racers in skiing that are going 70 miles an hour on skis, motorcyclists that are, that are uh, doing uh, 200 miles an hour through corners on motorbikes is this concept of isolation of tension. What it means is tension is where it needs to be. Everything else is relaxed. Okay, think about that. Now, one way that I teach this is just imagine a dark, rainy night. You're on the highway driving and the Jersey barriers are there, and then they get closer and closer and closer until you're down to one lane surrounded by concrete. Do you feel like you're gonna drive really better if everything's tense? Or would you be more accurate in your driving and not hit the Jersey barriers if you just drove with your fingertips with everything relaxed? In other words, you've isolated the tension to just what you needed to control the steering wheel of the car. In an efficient, reactive shooting technique of shooting, that's very similar to what we're doing with the gun. So how do you build isolation of tension? You start with no tension. I'm standing now basically the way I stand to talk to you. And we add the tension where it's needed. So I'm pressing a little bit forward now, so I feel a little tension down here in my ankles where they're supporting the bottom part of my center of gravity. I'm completely relaxed. I'm breathing normally. My face is completely relaxed. It's just me sitting or talking. I think I have my green training down here. And now I'm starting to add a little bit of tension where I need it. Initially, I'm adding a little tension front to back. I'll do another video about that in my grip. I'm adding a little bit of tension this way, and I'm talking a little bit. And it's kind of isolated right here to there and we're talking maybe seven or eight pounds, just enough to connect the hands to the gun. Now, the closer I get to the gun, the more tension I'm building. Uh, I hardly have any of my shoulders. Uh, when I'm really shooting fast, I'm pulling down a little bit, but not much. It's from here to here that I start to isolate the tension to what the gun's giving me on recoil, I'm sorry, on muzzle flip primarily. So right here, I'm feeling it until I'm feeling maximum tension in my grip and I'm holding it enough so that it controls the gun but it doesn't affect my trigger pull. So I've isolated the tension to only where I needed it. That's a high performance athletic way to shoot. That's the way that high performance athletes perform at um, levels of performance you've never thought possible and that's how you're going to do it with shooting as well. So I'm Ken Nelson with the Tactical Performance Center. I hope you find these videos helpful. Share them. If you're on YouTube, click that like button or subscribe button. Click the little bell so you're notified. If you're on Facebook, share this. If you're on Instagram, share this. The hardest part in this business, especially with the way social media companies are against firearms, is getting the word out. So thank you, and I'll see you on the range.